At Jared, we have a brilliant selection of beautifully crafted diamond engagement rings and certified loose diamonds so that you can find the perfect one for your one and only. Best selection, best prices. Enjoy the Jared difference today. Jared, love brilliantly. The World Tournament of Soccer happening in Qatar is finally here. And with all the weird kickoff times and all the other sports happening simultaneously, it can be kind of hard to keep up. So to make sure you're up to speed, be sure to listen to Qatar Kick Around for the daily wrap-up of all the action from the tournament. From the group stage all the way to the final, Andy, Lars, and Peter are here for you with recaps and opinions of what happened that day in Qatar. Everything can be found at thekickaround.com, the Cumulus Podcast channel on YouTube, or wherever you listen. At Jared, we have a brilliant selection of beautifully crafted diamond engagement rings and certified loose diamonds so that you can find the perfect one for your one and only. Best selection, best prices. Enjoy the Jared difference today. Jared, love brilliantly. Our show, anytime you're ready. Kincaid and Dallas, on demand. Thank you so much for finding the show on New Country 101.5, Kincaid in Dallas. And please welcome our friend we talk to every single month, Jared Oxidine from Oxidine Law. Jared, good morning. Good morning, New Country. Woo! I just told Jared off the air, it's got to be true and tell me yes or no that the beginning of the holiday season for so many marriages is the end of that marriage. Yeah, you know, starting on January 2nd, we have an open sign above our front door, and it just starts flashing. On January 2nd. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, it, is, it is a tough time. If, you, if you're if you going through a bad situation, it can be a very stressful time during the holidays. But my advice is get through it, uh, kind of power through, try to have a good attitude, try to let everybody enjoy their holiday. You know, the biggest mistake some people will make is because the holidays can be stressful as it is. Forget whether or not you've got a divorce situation going on, but you have people – that will kind of agitate each other, and instead of backing down and de-escalating, they take it to the next level, and now you've got the police knocking on your door, Ooh. and you might have somebody getting arrested, or you might have a restraining order, and now you're out of your household during the holidays, so you don't want that to happen. So no. if you're in a stressful environment, de-escalate, back down, get through the holidays, and then come see me. Jared, how often do you see couples who come in where one person in particular didn't get the message that, hey, we're kind of going through a sort of, you know, we're entering recession territory, and we need to curb our budget and you're still spending like there's no tomorrow, whether it's it's him or her. And then the one person just doesn't get it. Oh yeah, I won't buy it. I won't buy it. And then they catch somebody with bags in their trunk. And then that's the end that causes just another thing that puts another crack in that foundation. Yeah, it happens. I mean, the number one reason I would say for divorce is lack of communication and then financial reasons would be right behind it. And some people are controlled financially. So keep in mind, some people are just kind of watched like an eagle eye on everything they spend. And those are the people sometimes that not only feel controlled and decide they want to get out of that environment, but they also get in trouble because they may be sneaking around, racking up secret credit card debt because they don't have access to marital funds. And now when it's time to get divorced, we have all this debt we have to deal with. So oh, financial problems can very much lead to divorce. And you've got to communicate about those things. And don't control your spouse. I mean, we have all these people that this is my money. I earned it. It's mine. No, it's not not just yours, it's ours. And so, you know, I, I hate situations where somebody's like on an allowance and they've got a spouse that gives them a certain amount of mm -hmm. money in their bank account every month and they're watching it every day. And if there's a dime over what they were allowed to spend and they get, you know, a lashing, it's ridiculous. That's them. miserable. That just seems pretty awful. How many people come in there and they're, they're towards the end and you notice that there was the one person who handled the money. There's just one. It's not a, it's not a team effort. Oh, well, he handled the money. She handled the money. I don't know. They handled the money. Yeah, it happens a lot. You'll have um, one spouse that kind of pays the bills and controls the finances, and they know where the retirement accounts are, and it's not uncommon to see the other party in the dark. And when those people get divorced, it's a much more challenging prospect because we now have to educate them on what they've got because they're coming in. They're ready to get divorced. They want their half of the assets, and they don't know what the assets are. So fortunately, we have a process in the divorce where we can figure out what those assets are and make sure that the people that are not in control of the finances during the marriage get their fair share. We're talking to Jared Oxidine from Oxidine Law. Jared, has someone ever been so impressed with the work you've done for them that they ended up getting remarried and they invited you to the wedding? For, for... <laughs> I have been invited oh, to sell a <laughs> Oh, man. But did you go? Yeah, yeah, you did, didn't you? I went to two out of the three. <laughs> I left my business cards at home, you know? 
I was, uh, <laughs> but, um, but I did. And it's nice, you know, when you do a good job for somebody yeah. and they recognize you like that. And, and we try to become family members with our clients. I know it's kind of cheesy to say, but it is almost a family environment. We're talking about major things that are emotional issues. And we're talking about kids and we're talking about money. And so you start to become a family with these folks and some of your clients you become friends with, which is great. That's awesome. That's Jared Oxidine from Oxidine Law. Plug that website in case we have any questions. It, that is uh, oxlawfirm.com. Uh, go on the website. You can schedule a consultation through our website. We're doing in-person consultations. You can do it over the phone. You can do it by Zoom. And the first consultation is free. You can't beat that. There it is. Thank you so much, my friend. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Have a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye. In Kate and Dallas, on demand. Jared is the place to find that perfect piece of stunning jewelry. But it's also the perfect place to service and repair your existing jewelry. We offer on-site repair services for your jewelry, whether you bought it from us or not. Visit Jared today and see what we can do for you. We can do.